G'day, Michael from Ironbark Game Studios, and welcome to the third part of this Blender Beginner series, where I'll take you through the shortcuts for adding and selecting objects in your scene. So by default in Blender, we have three objects in the scene, a light, cube, and camera, and this is all under a collection. So we can see this in the outliner on this right-hand panel. I may just left-click to select any one of these. We can also double left-click to change the name and press Enter to confirm. If we want to add a new object to the scene, press Shift A in the viewport. And I'm going to add a mesh and let's just add a cube for now. And I'm just going to press G and Y to move it out along the Y axis. So we can see now in the outline we have a cube and we've got cube.001. There's two ways to duplicate an object. The first is Shift D. And when we hit Shift D, that's just going to start moving the object as we move the mouse. And we can press Y to restrict that to the Y axis. We can then hit left click to confirm or right click to cancel. If we hit right click to cancel, it's still going to duplicate the object, but it's going to be in the exact same position as the first one we selected. So I'm just going to hit GY to move that out. The second method of duplication is Alt and D. So again, when we hit Alt D, that's going to start moving the object. I'm going to press Y and left click to confirm the move. The key difference here is that it's duplicating the object, but it's keeping the data linked. So this first cube and this second one have the same object data. We haven't looked at editing objects just yet, but if we edited one, it'd also edit the other. If we want to unlink the objects, we can go to Object, we can come down to Relations, Make Single User, and then click on Object and Data. A better way to view this is if we go down here to the object data properties and select it. We can see that this cube.002 is the object data. And next to that, we can see the number of users of this data. So currently there are two objects in the scene using this. That's this one here and this one. If we select our other cubes, we can see that it's just called cube, no other users. And this one is cube.001, also no other users. So if we select the duplicate linked one and we just click on this two here, that's just going to make a copy of the data and unlink it. If we want to delete an object from our scene, we can press X and then just use this little confirmation menu and click on delete. Or we can select an object and just hit delete on the keyboard and then it won't bring up the confirmation menu. And I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo those two deletions. So there's a lot of different tools to select and deselect objects in Blender, and it's just going to apply in different situations. So the simplest way to select things, just left click on a, an object, that's going to select the object. If you left click in the empty space, that's just going to deselect everything that you have selected. Selecting an object will bring up a yellow outline. If you hold down shift and then left click another object, that's going to select both of them. The currently active object is the one with the yellow outline, and then the one with the orange outline is just another object selected. So I've called down Shift and select another one. We've got two objects with the orange outline and just one with the yellow. So you're only going to have one object with the yellow outline. You can press A to select all objects in the scene, or you can press Alt A to deselect all objects in the scene. You can also double tap A to deselect all objects as well. Say we've got a few objects selected, we can press Control and I to invert the selection. Control I to invert selection. If we want to select multiple objects quickly, we can just left click and drag and that's going to bring up this marquee tool. Just let go, that's going to select all objects within the marquee selection. So this is actually the current tool selected up here in the toolbar, the select box. If I just hold down left click you can see we have a select box, a select circle, and a select lasso. So you can just let go on any one of these, and then just left click and drag in the scene, and that will be the current tool. If you press B and left click and drag, that's also going to bring up a marquee selection, but it's a little different from the select box because this is additive. So if I go to the select box and left click and drag over here, it's going to deselect that object. If I press B and left click and drag, it's going to include the selection of other objects and also the ones within the marquee selection. 
So the marquee box with B is additive. If I press C, that's going to bring up the select circle. If I left click and drag, that's going to select objects within the circle. If I hold down middle mouse button and drag, that's going to deselect objects within the circle. I can also use the mouse wheel to increase the size of my selection or decrease the size. So left click to add, middle mouse button to remove, and then right click to cancel the tool. Holding down control and then the right mouse button will bring up the lasso tool. But again, this one is also additive. So if I don't have anything in the selection, it will keep the other objects selected as well as the ones inside of the circle. If I have an object selected and press Shift and L, I can select objects with similar properties. So say if I just delete this one and duplicate special this cube here so that they share the same data. And then I press Shift L and with the selection I can go object data. It's going to select all objects that share this same data here. If I have an object selected and I press Shift G, that's going to bring up this menu called Select Group. So say I want to select everything within my current collection and click on this here, and it's going to select all of these objects that are currently in this collection. Hiding objects is also useful if you want to work on one and just hide the rest to get them out of the way. So if we select an object and press H, that's going to hide it. We can see in the outliner that the cube becomes sort of grayed out and we have this eye icon. You can also just click on the eye icon to bring it back and hide it. If you have objects hidden in your scene, you can press Alt H to unhide all hidden objects. If you have some objects selected, you can press Shift H and that's going to hide all objects which are not selected. And Alt H will bring them all back. If you have an object selected and then press the forward slash, that's going to isolate the selected object. It's also going to frame the object within the viewport as well. You can then make any changes you want and then press forward slash again. And that's going to bring everything back. And it's also going to set the viewport orientation back to what it was before you started isolating that object. One final thing you can do is you have a tick box here for the collection only. If you click on this, it's going to hide everything within that collection. There's a couple of ways to combine objects in your scene. So if you have two or more objects selected and you press Ctrl P, we get the set parent menu and I'm just going to go object. So now that the first object is now a child of the second object. So if I select second object or the currently active object and I press G to grab, it's also going to move the child. If I select the child and move it, I can move it independently of the parent. A parent can have multiple children, but a child can only have one parent that it transforms to. If you select the child object and press Alt P to bring up the clear parent menu and then just go clear parent, that's going to remove that link. And then if I move the old parent, it's not going to change the child. If you select two objects and press Ctrl J, that is going to join them together. So they're now no longer single objects, they're the same object. To better organize your scene, you may want to create collections. So if you have an object selected and you press M, that's gonna bring up the move to collection menu. You can either select a collection currently in your outliner, or you can click on new collection, call it something and hit okay. And that new collection is going to appear on your outliner and your objects are going to be within that collection. You can also simply drag and drop items in your outliner into different collections. So if I grab this cube, drag it into the cubes collection, it's now in this one. And then we can manipulate this collection like turning it off or hiding the objects inside of it. Thanks for watching this video. Give us a like and subscribe if you found it useful and leave a comment if you have a question or your own Blender tip. You can download a free set of PDF notes for this series from the Patreon link in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.